Why are you vlogging again? Because everybody asked for it. Oh, isn't it lovely? Hello. You just, I was trying to say hello and you just ruined it. I was like, hello in the mirror and you just <laughs> opened it. <laughs> to this week's reading vlog. I wasn't going to do a reading vlog this week and then I asked on Twitter what I should film and y'all were like reading vlogs so hello we're doing a reading vlog. It is June 3rd Monday at like 4 p.m. I'm starting super late obviously because I just asked what you wanted to see but pretty much today all I did was film my May wrap up part two which you guys by the time you see this video will have already watched that hopefully if not you should go watch that video. Pretty much this week is full of nothing so there will be a lot of reading because I don't work until tomorrow but it's only like a three hour shift and then I do nothing until I work again on Saturday. So <laughs> lots of quality content. My mother will not be in this vlog a lot because she's very sick right now so sadly probably not of car content with her. I'll probably be seeing Ricardo a lot and you guys like him, so sorry to be a disappointment. But let's get into the reading update for now. So, I am currently reading Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas, which I'm sure you guys are all excited about. You guys have been telling me for like three years now that I need to read this book, so here we go people, it's time. I'm pretty much almost done it though. I'm on 372 of like 404 or something like that. So I don't think I need to give a synopsis of it because like it's Throne of Glass and everybody but me has read it. But I'm actually really liking it. I'm probably gonna end up giving it a four. It started off really slow. I don't think I really got into it until like 250 pages or something. It's not a five star book because it took way too long for me to actually start enjoying it. But now I'm really digging it. I'm probably gonna finish this today or tomorrow at work, not sure. But then I'm also listening to The Field Guide to the North American Teenager by Ben Philippe. I always listen to an audiobook and have a physical book going, so this is my audiobook. And it's about this guy named Norris, who is a black Canadian who moves to Austin, Texas. And he meets this girl named Artie, who he like instantly falls in love with. And then he realizes that she ain't shit. <laughs> That's what we're going with the synopsis for this book but I'm actually really liking this it's really funny I'm almost done it I'm on like page 348 of like 368 I'm gonna finish this in the next like 20 minutes but probably a four out of four star but it's really funny like I did not expect it to be this funny and it's like super relatable because it has a whole bunch of like Canadian shit in it and your girls are Canadian so I get the jokes you know because sometimes in books where they make like American jokes I'm like <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. But this one, I get the jokes. So it's a great time. Hello! It's now Tuesday and I have to go to work. And I'm really bitter about it because my favorite co-worker in the whole world was supposed to work with me on this shift and she just texted me and was like, Hi, don't hate me, I'm sick. So I'm really not happy about it but also like i hope she feels better but also like really bitter but i took a shift on friday where she should be at so hopefully i see her like i said we off to work from 8 30 to 12 30 and then i gotta rush home so that my brother can have the car but i'm waiting for the car to warm up right now so i figured i'd give you my reading update for yesterday i finished both my books both of them i'm giving four stars the field guide for the north american teenager I thought was really funny. I really liked the humor in it and I definitely recommend it if you're Canadian because you'll actually get the jokes and it's a grand old time. And then Throne of Glass. I'm actually really really happy that I finally picked it up. Like you guys said I needed to pick it up and it's really really good and I agree. I really want to read the second book but I have to read a book for a publisher which I'll show you guys like later on in the day because I don't want to pull it out of my bag right now. I'm kind of sad I don't get to just move right on to Crown of Midnight. So that's my plan for the morning at least. Then when I get home, I'll probably just end up reading. I'm probably not doing anything with my mom again today because she's still sicko. And then Ricardo's done at six today. So I don't know if he's coming over or I'm going over there or if he's hanging out with his brother or his friends. We haven't really talked about it, so. Who knows? But I'ma go drive to work now. Bye. <laughs> you look like you're dying. <laughs> Beebsy has a sty. 
Look, mom's back, everyone. <coughs> mom's back choking. Mom's sick. Open the door. No, I don't <laughs> want to go out there. Oh. We just want to go to the thrift store. Look at my outfit of the day. Yeah. Wow. You Style. Are, you are beautiful. Although, you just told me I look like a rock covered in moss. You do. The ocean, the rocks, the sunset. Why is it red? A storm is a bruin. <laughs> okay. Aww. Hello! Welcome to the quality car <coughs> content that I said was not going to happen <coughs> because of this, but it is here. We are proud. We are sick. We are proud and we are sick. Yes. Well, she's sick. I'm the epitome of health, like always. Never sick, ever. Knock on wood. Thank you. We are in the middle of a rainstorm going to the thrift store because we are that dedicated. Boy, what's happening in Hamilton this week? Oh, there's this huge golf tournament that literally is the stupidest thing ever that closes all the roads down, but it's fine. It's the Canadian Open. And yes, we the have Canadian this. Open. And it's just <laughs> pouring rain, so sucks to suck to be a golfer. <laughs> We're going to the thrift store and life is great. We're not really going to the thrift store. We're going to the bulk food store to buy crap and then going to the thrift store. We bought nothing at the thrift store, but we got, oh my God. So the trick was for at um, least something. Peanut butter, chocolate, pretzel. Is there graham something in it? Graham cracker deliciousness. So. Graham cracker deliciousness. Highly recommend. It's now. 3.30 on Wednesday and I just realized that I never actually told you what I'm reading since I told you on Tuesday I would show you later and then I never showed you. So, figured I'd show you now my audiobook for the day, maybe the next two days, I don't know, I'm about halfway through now, is The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare and Sarah Reese Brennan and Maureen Johnson. This is like the Magnus Bane short stories collection and I don't know how I feel about it. Like I said, I'm like halfway through and honestly, I don't really care, which is like kind of a huge bummer because Magnus Bane is like my favorite character from the Shadowhunters series. So like I thought that I would love this, but it's honestly really boring. I think I've liked one of the six stories that I read and the only reason I liked it was because it had Will, Tessa, and Jem in it. So like, I'm kind of disappointed so far. I'm hoping that it gets better. And then my physical read is Solving Cadence More by Gregory Sterner. And this is a book that the publisher asked if I would read it. So I said, yes, it's like a thriller, suspense novel kind of thing. It's about this guy named Charlie Marks who runs a podcast and he became obsessed with Cadence Moore, who is a girl, woman, I don't know how old she's supposed to be, who went missing a couple years ago. And her case was never solved. She was never found or anything. So he sets off to try to solve this case. And then I guess he solves it or he gets close to it and like discovers all these secrets that the police couldn't discover and blah 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 but I'm only like 20 pages in so can't really say anything about it yet but it's giving me like major Sadie vibes because it's told in like transcripts of the broadcast podcast whatever it's called and like there's also like actual chapters like explaining shit but that also has the transcript so Sadie vibes but like I said 20 pages in I don't know if it's actually good or not. I think I'm seeing Ricardo tonight. He's done work at five, but I don't know if he has plans. Turns out he doesn't actually have a sty. He got bit by a spider on his eye. He went to the doctor yesterday and they gave him like cream for it. So I mean, that sucks, but at least it's not a sty. I don't know, but sucks to be him basically. My, my servant. <laughs> <laughs> really good. <laughs> Why do you look so proud of yourself? This my I hate it. <laughs> we got a lot of food. We already ate half of it. And there's more coming because Ricardo likes food. How are you feeling? <laughs> what are you doing? Mm. <laughs>
That does not explain anything to our lovely viewers. I'm putting ice on my eye because it's swollen and it's sore and it's itchy. Because <laughs> his spider bit him and he didn't get any superpowers. Should have at least gotten like zoom in vision with one eye. <laughs> Hello! It's Thursday and we're going to do something very exciting. Mommy, what is it? Grocery shopping. No, this is about my life, not yours. What are we doing, Jay? Are we doing this is very exciting. What are we doing? We're paying my student loans. Off in full. Not even installments. Paid in full. Because I'm a millionaire. Well, not anymore. Now I'm broke, but I was a millionaire. Yay for debt. <laughs> no, you're debt free again. Until no, next September. year. It's fine. Until September. It is going. everybody I am sad because I went to McDonald's and I ordered a nice coffee and then they made my order twice and my stupid honest Canadian ass was like oh no I already got it <clears throat> you know I could have two iced coffees right now but I don't because they took it away <laughs> it did the whole thing didn't cost you anyway yeah but I could have had two but, but you didn't pay for it but I could have had two. You're not understanding. Two for, the, two for the price of nothing still. Exactly. At least I have good karma now. Yes. Pays to be honest, but not really because I still don't have two coffees. We are puppy sitting. Except she is sitting on us. <laughs> She's human sitting. Haley. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> Family portrait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but everyone look at how long her tongue is. Look at that tongue. <laughs> oh, she doesn't like when people grab her tongue. Well, I wonder why. Oh, well, I'm grabbing it because she doesn't care. <laughs> oh, photo, hello. Hello. <laughs> Look at her tongue. <laughs> Lead with the butt. <laughs> Aww. I love how it just like smashes off her face every time. Yay! It seems heavy. I feel like we shouldn't be doing that. I'm coming to me. I'm coming to me. I like how I don't have that even in my room. Don't play. It's now Saturday at like 11 in the morning. I'm just waiting for Ricardo to come pick me up so that he can drive me to work because I'm not seeing him for a couple of days because he's going to his brother's and working and all that fun stuff. So he told me that he would come drive me to work and bring me chicken nuggets and iced coffee. So I'm very excited because yum. But I figured I would give you guys a reading update because tonight after I'm done work, me and my mom are going to Busker Fest, which is like a festival in Dundas where there's like buskers who come and like perform in the streets kind of thing we go every year so we're doing that again but reading update I finished Bane Chronicles I ended up giving it a 3.5 out of 5 stars I liked the ending half of the book better than the beginning the beginning was like really boring and I was not a fan the ending I really liked so 3.5 you know average all that jazz uh for saving Cadence more it's downstairs right now because I'm bringing it to work but I'm like 60 pages in, still not really sure what I think of it. Like literally nothing has really happened in it, so. And then my next audiobook since I finished Bane Chronicles is This Darkness Mind by Mindy McGuinness. I'm like 60 pages into this as well. And it's like kind of weird to be honest. It's about this girl named Sasha who's like super like competitive with her friends and like she needs to be successful, blah, blah, blah. But then apparently she has a twin who's like taking over her body but she like reabsorbed her in the womb or something. I don't know, but it's fucked up so far. I'm not really sure what's going on. But I was really excited for it because it's Mindy McGinnis who wrote The Females of the Species, which was like one of my favorite books a while ago. So I don't know, I'm not a fan yet, but hopefully it gets better. We'll see. I know a lot of people gave this like a pretty low rating. Everybody walking by right now. <laughs> Look what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, I want to ride. If you want to see me ride free, say, fly! fly! That was unanimous. Okay, but if you're secretly hoping that he falls and gets hurt, say, 
die. <laughs> Even in Canada, I'm I not know. expecting that. Why is the die always louder than the fly? What is it? Hold on, I've got a soundtrack. It'll make it even better. Stargazer, we need to get to the shooting platform. Follow my lead. Ready? Let's go. Gender norms, are you ready for the Tower of Fire? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Hey, Rick and Mike, make sure they don't stop clapping until Antoine is safe on the ground. Here we go. Yes! Success! Yeah. That was kind of crazy. Okay. What? Okay.